Sitting down with my radio It's just about time for my favorite show I turn the dial of the CKCU There ain't no other station in town like you FM. Hardly any classic rock and only the worst new stuff. Oh, my name's Trevor Walker. My show is the New Soul Collective and it's basically about a good time more than anything. It's to tune in to uplift your spirit and to maybe become educated on the way. And that's that basically rounds up what my show is about. And this is the same label that gives us um, such great compilations as Mo Cooking and Home Cooking on Ubiquity. They're both basically the same label. And this is very jazz with a funky, funky beat as usual. As you normally hear on this show and uh, numerous others, of course, on CKs here. So this is the Chili Peppers and a song called Chicken Scratch out on the record called Hip City on Love and Hate Recordings here on CKCU 93.1. I play um, jazz, funk, fusion, soul, blend, sometimes Latin stuff. It depends on, on whatever the mood may be. But generally new stuff coming out of, well actually wherever, just in, in kind of an underground vein, I guess is the best way to explain it. But acid jazz is the quote unquote term, which I hate, but that's, that's the term that's used. That's to, to label the music that I listen to or I play. CKCU offers me the freedom to, to do what I want. Basically, it's to keep underground without worrying about ads, without worrying about sounding like I'm happy all the time on the air, without worrying about, you know, just all the things that go with commercial radio that I hate. Basically, that's why I'm here. And also to get music out to people that they wouldn't normally hear because I collect it myself and I do a lot of research that way so that I can get it out to people and it's the best way. It's better than clubs, it's better than anything. To get it out on the radio is the best way. Baptiste and um, I am the program coordinator of uh, CKCU. We play new music about six, six months to eight months before it hits commercial radio. Like for instance something like Us Three, which you can hear on Cool FM now, we were playing last year, you know, because we, are, we take chances on new music. We give the music to the DJs and they just simply decide whether they like it or not and they play it or not. And um, the result of that is we just play whatever music is sent to us. We don't necessarily say, well, here, this is the music you DJs have to play this. It's not formatted in that respect. So that allows us a certain amount of freedom. It also allows us the ability to get stuff on the air when it's fresh, when, you know, people haven't played it out. We broadcast about a hundred kilometer radius. So our signal comes off of Camp Fortune. We share a tower with um, TV Ontario and a bunch of other news outlets and in fact we get some of our power from TVO as a result of a contra deal we have with them. We monitor their signal 24 hours a day and if they go down we inform them immediately and by doing that we avoid something like $10,000 worth of costs every year. Receptors. 
It's 11, 23, 17, 18, 19, like that on Canadian Spaces. This is CKCU-FM, the mighty 93. And the second hour of Canadian Spaces is brought to you by the Ottawa Folk Festival. I'm Chopper McKinnon, and I'm the host of Canadian Spaces. Canadian Spaces is a platform to promote Canadian, uh, predominantly uh, independent singer songwriters just about anything with an acoustic root. We play bluegrass, we play blues, jazzy things, uh, just about anything uh, that is acoustic in origin. When they asked me to do an hour on a Saturday morning because their folk guy was moving out of town, uh, I told them that I'd love to do it, but that my uh, background and record collection and all that sort of thing was in Canadian music and uh, they thought oh well we'll give him a couple of months uh, for an hour and he'll soon exhaust his, his uh, Canadian folk music library and we'll get something else to replace it but uh, as time went by it went to 90 minutes and now it's two hours and it's 14 years later and uh, I can do what I want to do I can play long cuts. I can play three or four cuts in a row of the same album. Uh, I can uh, be myself, laid back Saturday morning. It's a perfect spot for me. When I was a manager for four years here, I went out and saw a lot of other stations in operation. And uh, that reinforced the fact to me that uh, Campus station is, is kind of an incorrect term, um, and I like to call it campus-based community radio. And not only is CKCU um, the best of that category, uh, but it's respected right across the country. And uh, it's in some cities, it's the best radio there is. And, uh, and I include that in Ottawa in that. Uh, so I'm, I'm very proud to be even associated with the radio station. We're the Gruesomes on CKCU. In Ottawa, it's the station for you. Don't be square, don't be a geek. Just tune in seven days a week. Yeah, yeah, it's our station. My name is Karen Jordan and I coordinate the spoken word department. My official title is Public Affairs Director. Well, there's a bunch of different things I do. Probably the most important thing, to me the most important thing, is recruiting and training volunteers to produce the various different spoken word programs that we do have. Um, that involves everything from teaching people how to do an interview, teaching people how to edit tape, um, hooking them up with people in the production department so they can learn how to produce their own show, how to work the board in the on-air studio. We have a number of uh, shows serving various ethnic communities in Ottawa. We have uh, a new Somali feature, which has recently gone to a half hour. It started out as a 15-minute spot on Special Blend, and it's recently moved to a half hour. We have shows that serve the Haitian community that represent people from the Polish community. We have a gay and lesbian show. We have um, a women's show off the pedestal. We have shows that deal with environmental issues and social justice issues beyond our backyard and cross current. Special Blend is CKCU's morning program. It runs from 7 to 9.30 every morning. Um, it's a very popular show, especially the BBC. In fact, uh, in our annual report, I discovered that Prime Minister Mulroney used to live at, listen to our 8 o'clock a.m. BBC newscast, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, it's very popular. It's a mix of music and features and news, news and information features. Um, it's hosted by two people, usually a man and a woman. It's one of our flagship shows, and it has features on any, everything from native news to labor news, women's news, vegetarianism. My head, and I'm going right out of my head with Sherry here on Special <laughs> Blend. I think that is a compliment. You should. You should. I enjoyed the intro. Oh, thank you. Right back at you, babe. Oh, gosh. 29 minutes <laughs> after 9 o'clock on Special Blend. And uh, in, if we haven't set it off and enough, or you're just scanning through, well, by the way, those are on the 417 or the 401, just driving by, the, yeah. on your way out. Mm -hmm. uh, you're listening to CKCFM, where a volunteer 
radio station. Only a few people get paid, but uh, a volunteer radio station nonetheless. And we're at Carleton University, and you can swim on by here and take a look at our operation anytime you want. It's all night, night, night. And that was a vegetarian issue feature. Off the pedestal is the Women's Issues program, which airs once a week. It's a half-hour program on Tuesday nights, and it's put together by sort of a loose. Uh, not very organized collective of women. Um, it's a show by and for women, so there are no men directly involved in the production of the show, and it's a good opportunity. I find women are sometimes underrepresented in the more technical aspects of radio, and uh, it's a good chance for women to gain some confidence and to have a space where they can learn how to, say, work the board for a live show, or how to host a live show, or how to do something in the production department. It's a good space to be working just with other women and to feel comfortable and to learn at your own pace. All kinds of beats for all kinds of feet. All kinds of beats for all kinds of feet. And if they come back, usually they'll stay and uh, get trained on the equipment. Can I take this call? Sure. Sorry. Production. It is. Yes. I did. I have somebody I have somebody to do your show. C can I call you back in an hour? Uh, good enough. Okay. I do. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Uh, so I train them and what we need uh, volunteers to do in the beginning is um, come in and tech for people's uh, interviews and things like that. They do interviewing guests for a show or uh, book reviews or different things like that. And uh, since, you know, I am the production manager, but I can't do everything, so that's these volunteers, they function in that capacity. They help me out and do all the things that I haven't got time to do as far as teching interviews and doing things like that. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get a level here before you start. I can. I'll level. Okay. Here you go. Level. You go to Canadian Tar. Hello. Keep going. Oh yes. I'm dreadfully sorry for any inconvenience I might have put you through. Think nothing of it. I enjoy having enough high explosives to recreate World War II's being set off around me. Makes for a nice change of pace. So, uh, what's the deal with the new tritium, if you don't mind my asking? And I don't. No, we don't. We don't. It's like Hecklin Jekyll meet Ozzy and Harriet. Neutronium is a colorless, crystalline substance. Here's some in this sugar bowl. Take cover! The radio station does fill uh, a need in the community, and uh, having worked here now for almost two years, um, I think it's a, a really good thing for people to uh, do some volunteering at an organization and to take part in, in the community and get involved because it definitely does have an impact and uh, you do get something from it. How do you do? Not bad, Dan. How about yourself? Pretty good. So, uh, I understand that you used to work at CKCU uh, years and years back. Well, actually, my friend Michael Fitzjames had a, had a show, and he used to have me come on and guest on Friday nights, and we used to do different types of, of parodies of radio programs. I used to do, like, kind of a truck stop show from the South, and I oh, used yeah. to do kind of a Bulgarian secret police show, and, you know, stuff like that. And then mainly in the satirical area, kind of making fun of the, you know, the media itself at that Comedy time. And stuff. Hey. My name is Max Wallace, and I'm the station manager at CKCU. CKCU actually started as a radio club in the early 60s. So it was run by a bunch of students, and it broadcast through the halls and into the residences of the university. Then around 1975, a group of students had a vision and decided that they wanted to take the station further than just the university. So they applied to the COTC for a license to broadcast on FM, and that was quite revolutionary at the time because there were no campus-based FM stations. So in 1975, in November 1975, CKCU broadcast for the first time over the FM airwaves. The mandate of CKCU is to provide a voice to the different communities not served by the mainstream media. 
Capital Extra, Ottawa's free gay and lesbian news and entertainment magazine, is an extra proud sponsor of Defiant Voices. Most of our advertising is community-based, small businesses. We don't really go after the corporate advertising. We're listener-supported. Every year we have a funding drive where our listeners call in, something like a telephone, and we raise about $100,000 a year. Once again, this is the CKCU funding drive. Please dial and donate whenever you can. You can give as little as you want or as much as you can, or as much as you can, five, 10, 20, 50, $100, whatever you can. Our goal this year is to raise $100,000. Please give us a call. When the station started the Busker Festival two years ago, we had two basic goals. First, to promote local talent, which is an important part of our mandate. And second, the idea was to bring CKCU to a community that really wasn't familiar with what we do. And the success of the first and then the second Busker Festivals was phenomenal. We never anticipated the kind of reaction we got to the Busker Festival. And an unexpected benefit, which we never anticipated, was it's become a huge revenue source for the station. And that's something we just never even thought of when we started the Busker Festival in Smith. Uh, I've been here at CKCU for 18 years now, 17 years for my program, Reagan Fields. Uh, it's heard Saturdays between 3 and uh, 6 o'clock. Uh, we not only feature music, though, we uh, do public affairs uh, uh, presentations because we want to get close to the community. It's uh, quite an open show. Uh, we, we talk about uh, politics, we talk about uh, immigration. Uh, we talk about uh, conflicts uh, with the police, conflicts uh, with culture and that sort of thing. So it's a mixture of show, a mixture of, uh, of uh, subjects on Reagan Fields. Small touch of um, Ringo Media Sound uh, this afternoon and uh, they'll all be there at uh, Lala Bella, uh, Roger Moore, Little Wayne, Bingy Barker, Papa Freddy. It was also great last night on stage. I was going to university here at uh, Carleton University and I was listening to CKCU and it was a carrier current uh, radio station at uh, Carlton and uh, there was absolutely no reggae music. So I, I felt uh, alone, I felt it a void. There was no, no music I could relate to uh, coming from Jamaica. Uh, so I decided just to come up to CKCU and say, here's my time. And so I volunteered right through my uh, university education. And uh, now that I've gone out into the workforce, I still feel a need to come back and, uh, uh, and do the show. There's a lot of freedom here. You can talk about any subject uh, you want. Uh, we can talk about the police. Um, we can talk about uh, multicultural issues. I don't think the, uh, the regular stations want to get into that. You can explore subjects. You can take an hour. Uh, to talk about one particular subject on another radio station it might take a minute or two just to put the thing together you know so it's a it's a ultimate freedom and people want to uh, come to CKCU just to express themselves uh, it's the best place to be you can do almost anything 
with the mouth as big as the mouth of a lion. Crowd of people no better, on a better strong, on a better strong. Crowd of people no better strong to fight this Amagidean. You know, God make rich men and God make poor man. Say God make white man and God make black man. Whether you are Lebanese, say are Asian. Say where that don't a yard, me say yes you come from. Say God give our up, me say the future plan. Him say take these skills and then go turn gentleman. Some man a turn round them power and a work evil plan. Them no have no respect, say for the human. All them have done in a them intention. He's for take a gun and knife and kill a man or a man. If them not do that, them don't feel say them a done black. Man and no man come together as one Because we need the strength to really be strong unity At our man forgot unity, unity The yardy them forgot unity, unity Canadian man them forgot unity Ragamuffin like we ain't come for run the country Well alright <laughs> You are listening to CKSCU 93.1 FM on your dial. Where we do love a peace. Love and eternal go ruminous. Yeah, yeah. So you just mind. You just mind this little message. Else. A bit of free advice. Be cool. Be clean. You're tuned into radio as rare and wild as the elusive theremin. CKCU 93.1 FM. Here's a little chair for one of you, and a bigger chair for two more to curl up in. And for someone who likes to rock, 